Hi everybody and welcome back to my backyard once again, I'm super excited to be back and it's been quite a while but you know, I kind of wait for the juicy content to make and today is super juicy. I have the Cinelog 35 V2 from Gepard C and if you follow the channel you already know I loved the V1 version. This drone I've been using it a lot especially for work, crashed a, a bit, didn't break and with the full GoPro it doesn't care, this drone goes fast it acros, it's efficient, it's very very nice, it, it does everything, you can go indoors, outdoors, chase cars and in my opinion this is the best CineHoop for GoPros out there because all the other chunky ones just don't compare, this thing flies like a dream. So I'm very curious to see what they bring to the table with the V2 version but before I unbox it please remember to like, subscribe and comment on this video down here and let me know what you expect from the V2 version and as always if you need to buy anything check out the links down in the description below and especially if you have to buy a Gepard C product you have 5% in the website with the code RIMZER5 you help yourself and also you help me a lot so thank you so much let's go boom and now let's unbox this bad boy I'm gonna grab my scalpel blade because it comes with the plastic wrap boom super precise let's throw it and I know Gepard C always use the very tough plastic on the packaging boom nice packaging let's open it and this is first time I open it because you saw it was plastic wrapped so wow nice foam nice quality foam and you get the all the accessories on the top of the box and boom another plastic wrap with the drone down there and it looks very beefy actually wow so I'm gonna show you the accessories and then the drone first of all you get the most complete set of tools I ever seen in an unboxing you get a plastic tweezer all three kinds of X keys and also a little wrench an extra set of HQ propellers for ducted drones very nice a very very beefy set of extra screws and nuts and also the naked GoPro mount and here you have the full GoPro mount antenna tubes battery pads and one you have to put on the drone one is spare and also two very high quality battery straps micro USB cable and a very nice carbon fiber keychain and lastly you get a ton of papers and <laughs> manuals and also of course stickers but really like the of course the FC pinout but also the GPS rescue settings you have right here so if you ever update the drone of course you're gonna lose the settings so very nice to have them at end so I don't have to figure them out myself and it's finally time for the real star of the show let me grab the scalpel again because the plastic stuff and with this it's a child's play and boom here is the drone in my hands it looks amazing and it feels super light I just weighed it it's 280 grams if you are curious the old one like I have in my hands is 256 so it's 25 grams heavier this one but I can already see why the the GIO3 is a little bit heavier than the old one, now this one has GPS, the motors are beefier and also the carbon actually is way, the carbon frame is, is longer and it's way beefier, you can see here it's super thick compared to the old one, and you can see how longer it is and it's great because Gepard still listened to all the suggestions I made last time and now the battery is not mo anymore like this where you cannot select your center of gravity but it can it can do this now so you put a GoPro or you put a naked GoPro and the center of balance changes which is incredible also they put these aluminum rails for the battery strap which is very very nice and secure and also you can see here the XT60 connectors is finally flush you just put the battery and plug it in without loose cables that I don't have a personal problem with these loose cables but sometimes if you don't put them correctly you can go in the propellers this way it's just safer so I like it more and also the actual carbon looks way better than all the other drones they made I don't know what they did maybe they changed the CNC to a water jet one I don't know but it's, it's just super smooth on the sides while all the other drones they make is fine it's chamfered but you can see the tool passes in here, here is incredibly smooth so it's very very nice quality carbon and here you can see they improved a lot 
the soft mounting system. You have two separate ones. One is for the GoPro up top, it's a little bit stiff, but it's great because the GoPro doesn't swivel too much. It's just protected from jello. And then at the bottom, you have a separate one for the DJI O3 because if you want to just use O3, it's soft mounted as well and it doesn't take the vibration from, from the GoPro up top and vice versa, of course. And you can see here on the old one, it's a little bit on the shaky side. If the GoPro moves, also the bottom camera moves. I didn't have particular issues with this one, but this new one is better. The GoPro is super rigid, it's just protected from jello, so it's gonna follow your drone. And if you do hard maneuvers, it's not gonna wiggle too much. And since I'm here comparing the two of them, it looks like the plastic ducts are basically the same between the two models, but I don't have any issue with that because I crashed a few times, they're still here, you can see them. And I don't know, if you crash hard, probably they're gonna break, but they look like they're strong. Talking about specs, it has bigger motors than the old one. The old one was 2004, this one is 2105.5, so almost a 2106 motor with 2150 kV. This is super torquey motor and it is powered by a F7 flight controller with 45 amps ESCs. It's a 8BS ESC, but it comes with Blue J pre installed, so it's gonna have bi directional D shot. So, very nice. In my case, I have the O3 and I'm gonna fly with the O3 radio basically. I don't have any external receiver. And also the GPS, as mentioned before. And also down here, I don't know if you can see it, but it has easy access to the SD card if you wanna use the O3 as a recording system, which I do very often because I like the quality out of it. And that's pretty much it for the specs of this drone. I'm gonna put everything, the battery pads, the battery straps, bind it, and then we're gonna test it. I'm gonna fly with the O3 only to see how good it flies without anything and then see how it works with the GoPro. Let's go. And boom, everything is ready to fly. They suggest using a 1300 milliamps success battery. This is from Gepardsy, this is the one they sent me. And I'm just gonna... You can hear the Blue Jay beeping. Let's go. Ah, we also have the GPS arrow, you can see in the OSD. It's a little bit windy, but yeah, the drone flies nice. I'm flying in angle right now. Oh no. Oh no, it's magpie season again. They nest on these trees up here. I can hear them screeching. Okay, let's put it in agro. Yeah, they're, they're chasing me. Man, every time I review a Gepard C product, I have these magpies chasing me, so I hope they don't catch me. You can see her, you can see her. Oh, <laughs> okay, nice. This is, <laughs> this is nice for video use. So, in acro, flies amazing. It's like a, a mini five inch, I would say. Screams a bit. Not bad though. I need. I need to tune it a bit because it's a bit too fast for a cinematic drone, but it's not bad. And if you ask why I record in uh, 4x3 on the O3, it's because in gyroflow it's better to, to use 4x3 because you have more sensor data, more sensor resolution. Even if it's in 2.7K, it doesn't matter. You end up with a better resolution anyways. And I hope they update it because 4K will be very nice. I'm not running the D-Log profile because I, I, I think it's fine enough, the colors are fine enough like this for reviews at least. When I fly around I use D-Log. But yeah, it's not bad. Uh, it's sad I don't have the speed on the GPS right now because I didn't touch the OSD. It doesn't go 
incredibly fast. I would say reaches 70, 80 kilometers per hour, which is not crazy. I, I would have expected more. But still, it's fine. Oh, the camera angle is a little bit high. I didn't touch anything really. <laughs> I mean, the, the dog does not care too much about a quite big drone orbiting around him. I need to put some expo for sure, but it's not, it's not bad at all. Noise wise, yeah, it makes a little bit of noise. I don't know, compared to the old one, if it makes more or less noise. Maybe it's a little bit more efficient than the old one, but the efficiency comes with less speed, top speed, because it has higher KV and it spins lower, probably, lower RPM. It's torquey, though. Oh. There is some little bit of prop wash here and there. Okay, there is also some wind. You see? Nothing crazy, it's totally flyable. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Can get mildly shaking. It's not bad. The camera is fine, it doesn't seem to shake the O3 at least. Shakes with the drone, it's fine. I believe it's gonna have a great stabilized video because there, are no, there is no jello in the camera. So we have been flying for 5 minutes, 11, 12, and the battery starts to be time to, to land. Maybe let me do this last bit in, uh, in angle. Angle is a little bit wobbly. I will... It will need some little bit more tuning. This is a pre-production unit, so maybe they tuned it better. But, I mean, it just needs a little bit more expo and lower rates, and it's fine. Yeah, low battery. Want to get to six minutes. Whoa. Yeah. Boom! Six minutes with a 1300 milliamps battery. I would ex have expected more without a GoPro on top, but we also tried flying fast, we also did some acro, so I believe it's fine. Of course, if you fly slower, it can go eight minutes probably, even more if you fly indoors, but it's fine. Battery is warm, motors don't even care, they are cool basically temperature ambient temperature i like this system and finally it's time to fly with the gopro i love how gepard c listens to what people say because now the um, the nut the x nut has a hole it's recessed in here so you only need one tool to tighten it because before the old version you needed two tools the key and the wrench which was a pain i'm very curious to see how it flies fly <laughs> I find it. Oh, 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 a chicken. Wow, oh my god. The camera angle, <laughs> and it needs a little bit more push to fly with the GoPro. Because. Oh, it makes quite a bit more noise. Because I'm used to start from the uh, chair armrest, and it's not a great surface to take off from. 
Yeah, let's start doing acro. It's fine, it's fine. It's flying far faster than before, maybe because I am uh, going with the wind, I don't know. It's good. <laughs> it's less shaky than before because the GoPro is dampening a lot of the of the vibration of the it has more inertia so the drone shakes less. I mean it doesn't feel super heavy. It's not bad. It's just taking off, it took me off guard because it needed less throttle before. But it's fine, except it makes a lot of noise. I don't know if it's noisier than the old one, but probably it is. It's almost like the Avata noise, which is incredibly loud. It's not bad, I mean, it looks like I can fly better than before, because it is a little bit less responsive. It's like it has integrated the expo with the added inertia. Not bad, not bad at all. Oh, the chick. I mean, it's not a review if I don't chase the chickens, right? With this camera angle, it's kinda hard. Let me try. Oh, no, 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 no. The sunset shot with the chicken running. We have to get it. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. No, no, don't stop or I'm gonna cook you for dinner. Nice. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> yeah, okay, we did chase something. This is a good review. We, we got chased by the uh, magpie before and now we chased the chicken, so everything balances out. Let's put it in acro again. It's good. <laughs> oh! Oh my god. Yeah, the battery is starting to sag a little bit. The GoPro is for sure heavier. I'm flying like crap today. It's, it's been a couple of months I've been flying with the Avata almost exclusively and I lost my touch. So yeah, <laughs> I, I have to pick up flying with FPV, real, <laughs> real FPV again. I cannot hear my own voice when the drone passes, it's crazy. We have been flying for 3 minutes 42. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god, round two. Oh my god. Yeah, with the low battery, the throttle needs to go a little bit higher. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we got another beautiful sunset shot with the chicken. Nice. Yeah, the battery. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I need to land. Come on. Okay. Don't fly for 4 minutes 41 with the GoPro. The battery is totaled, but I think I also scratched my GoPro. Okay, let's stop recording. It's done. Fly maximum 3 minutes. No, what is this? Maximum 4 minutes if you do acro. I'm gonna recover the drone. I don't wanna destroy the new battery. And of course, this is the second flight and I already scratched all the drone up and also it's super dirty and dusty. But that's what you get for flying behind chicken with low battery. But you gotta do it when, when it comes. So, I always test the drone flying fast, acro, and test it, push it to its limits. So it flew for only 4 minutes and 40 with the GoPro acro. Which is not bad, which is not a bad result. If you take a 5 inch and you fly with the same battery, it's gonna fly for the same time, even less probably. So, very, very good result. If you fly slow, indoor, it's gonna do 6 minutes, which is what I do with the other, the older Cinelog 35. 
it's a pretty efficient drone if you fly indoors slow and you just need to fly slow but of course don't do it with 30 camera angle you just need to turn it down a bit but you need that tool to do that because it's super hard it doesn't want to swivel and also i will put some uh, expo especially i'm flying with my thumbs so some expo is needed because it's just to twitch and it's hard to control maybe i also lost my hands a little bit but yeah i will love it to chill it a little bit more but nothing crazy just go on beta flight add some expo the drone flies amazing the pids are fine and really the drone coming to my final opinion the drone flies amazing it's really nice and maybe it's a little bit louder than the old one i have to say it's probably the propellers these propellers make more noise than the old ones the old ones were gem fans tri blades and they sounded quieter i flew with it two days ago and i think it's it's quieter you can go watch the review if you're curious and of course gepard c had to improve an already very good drone there was not much to improve on the v1 but since they had to put the o3 system they moved the camera assembly in the front since last generation now you don't see the propellers in view anymore because you want to record with this camera for center of gravity having the camera so in the front is not the best but then they listened to the consumer and they did reverse their uh, camera mounting system now you can fine tune your center of gravity before you fly it which is amazing and a lot of little adjustment gps people wanted one they added one recessed xt60 very very nice also the double mounting system here i mentioned the recess nut so many times in the old reviews and they finally listened they put it there also i guess people wanted bigger motors they put it there they are more efficient indoors if you fly faster i believe they are a little bit more power hungry but not too much it flies similar to the old one i mean it's just an improved quality of life drone since the last one and everything really boils down to the question who is this drone for because it's it's better than the v1 of course but it's just by quality of life improvements they perfected it now it has gps it's safer to use it's more convenient you can do the center of balance the mounting is much better than the old one but at the end of the day the old one worked perfectly and they take the same video they fly the same way they have arguably same speed same efficiency same noise they are basically the same drone just little changes man nothing more so if you have o3 and you want to get this in o3 yeah this is the way to go only use this in o3 the old one don't even consider it because this has the camera studied for o3 if you still want to fly analog cadex vista and you don't have any of the two get the one who is cheaper if you have the money get this one because it's better but really nothing changes too much if you have analog or other systems which are not the o3 if you just want to buy the frame i guess go with this one it's better and that's pretty much it if you have the v1 i don't know I, i'm not gonna suggest you to to get this one there, is, there are little improvements but first you can mess with it yourself at the gps maybe add something 3d print if you are the techie kind of, kind of guy but it's not a generational leap it's just a little improvement in my opinion and it's really hard to review this drone knowing that the old one is also very good and if you find it cheaper it's a very compelling option of course this for now becomes my number one pick as a gopro cinewoop because tell me in the comments if you agree but in my opinion find me a more compact 3.5 inches who has all of this power lightweight it's it's very compact also in the height it doesn't have bulky ducts that do prop wash and i mean this does acro very well it feels like a 4s 5 inch it's crazy flies amazing does indoors very good it's super versatile if you put a naked gopro it's gonna fly amazing if you remove the gopro even better very 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 good product by gepard c gepard c is just pushing product after product and i, I don't think i've seen a bad product from gepard c in three years it's crazy they are pumping out amazing drones this is just a revamped edition but 
very nice. And as always, remember to like, subscribe and comment on this video. Let me know what do you think about this drone down here. And I'm really, really curious. Also, I believe Gepard C now reads the comments because a lot of comments got into stuff that got improved. So really comment what you, will, you would improve. And if you want to buy any product from Gepard C, check out the links down in the description down below. You get a 5% off, you get a discount and you help this channel a lot. You have no idea. You keep me pushing videos out, getting products. It's crazy. Thank you so much. And as always, stay safe and happy flying. Bye.